through the shattered streets of a divided city, this part of Aleppo has been off limits to Western journalists for more than a year. Now we're driving to its heart, the only British TV crew here were being shown around by the city's governor. In some parts of the city you'd hardly know there was a war on, but even here we're surrounded by dozens of armed soldiers who try to reassure us it's safe. But it's not. This is the roof of the governor's office, covered with snipers. Not even he would dare to stand up to admire the view here. The rebel positions are just 200 metres away. From the sniper position, you get a really good sense of the geography of this battle for Aleppo. You can hear the gunfire still going on. The governor says that there are still 50,000 rebels holed up over there and they control territory all the way to the Turkish border. He tells me the only way to end the war is for that border to be sealed. We hope that the Geneva talks will stop arms, weapons and the terrorists coming from outside Syria. He says we're all Syrians here, we should sit and talk together. This was a carefully choreographed visit, officials desperately trying to portray this conflict as a war on terrorism, not a popular uprising against a tyrannical regime. The governor's men say this hospital was used by al-Qaeda, that this was their command base, but it's impossible to know if that's right. Impossible to say who destroyed which building here. What is clear is that Aleppo's infrastructure will take years to rebuild. <laughs> We're only allowed to visit areas loyal to President Assad. His forces finally retook these villages after a year of occupation by the rebels. The women queuing for government handouts are furious that their homes were looted. She says they took our cars, everything from our houses, everything. They didn't leave a thing. And this is the other side of the front lines in Aleppo today. Video uploaded to YouTube gives the rebel perspective. People struggling to put out fires after Assad's forces shelled a neighborhood. The battle for propaganda is being waged as fiercely as the firefight. Both sides desperate to show diplomats in Switzerland they have the upper hand. As you can hear, the fighting is still raging here in Aleppo. We've only been taken to a few carefully chosen locations. But in reality, the centre of the city is still being fiercely contested by rebels and government forces. The government is desperate to convince us it is making progress here and in other places as the talks get underway in Switzerland. Dan Rivers, ITV News, Aleppo.